five cards are drawn randomly from a standard deck of 52 cards. We're asked to find each probability as a percentage to four decimal places, which means we'll first find the decimal of the six decimal places and then convert to a percentage. We're asked to determine the probability that exactly two cards are jacks and exactly two cards are queens. We need to be careful here because we're drawing five cards, so this really means exactly two cards are jacks, exactly two cards are queens, and exactly one card is not a jack nor a queen. And we know the probability of an event is equal to the favorable number of outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Let's begin by determining the total number of outcomes when drawing five cards from a deck of 52 cards. Because the order doesn't matter, the number of possible outcomes is 52 choose five. And now let's determine the number of favorable outcomes which is equal to the number of ways of selecting two jacks times the number of ways of selecting two queens times the number of ways of selecting one card that is not a jack nor a queen. So because there are four jacks in the deck, the number of ways of selecting two jacks from four jacks is four choose two. So we have four choose two times the number of ways of selecting two queens. Well, there are four queens the number of ways of selecting two queens from four queens is four choose two. And then we have times the number of ways of selecting one card that is not a jack nor a queen. The number of cards that are not jacks nor queens would be 52 minus eight, or all of these cards here where we have 40 cards here and four cards here. The number of ways of selecting one card from these 44 cards is 44, choose one. And now let's evaluate this on the calculator. To save some time, I've already set this up, and notice how we are getting scientific notation here. This e negative four means times 10 to the negative four. To convert to decimal notation, we have to move the decimal point four places to the left, which to six decimal places gives us zero point zero 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 six zero nine. Again, the calculator gave us approximately six point zero nine times ten raised to the power of negative four. Moving the decimal four places to the left gives us zero point zero 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 six zero nine. And now we need to convert this to a percentage which is equal to 0.0609%. And for the second example, we're asked to determine the probability that exactly one card is an ace. The total number of possible outcomes is still going to be 52 choose five. And if exactly one card is an ace, that means one card is an ace and four cards are non-aces. So the number of favorable outcomes is going to be the number of ways we can select one ace from the four aces in the deck, these four cards here, which is equal to four choose one, times the number of ways of selecting four cards from cards that are not aces. So if four cards are aces, then these 48 cards are non-aces, the number of ways we can select four cards from these 48 cards is 48 choose four. Now let's evaluate this on the calculator. We need the numerator in parentheses, so we have in parentheses four choose one times 48 choose four. and this is divided by 52 choose five. Which the six decimal places is approximately 0 0.299474. Which is a percentage is 29.9474%. I hope you found this helpful.